Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Adan Raga Abdullahi. Many people know me as uh, Eagle, and uh, my, I'm former president of Garrison University. Uh, today I'm here to share the challenges that has, has, has befallen me, you know, as a student leader. Uh, on 10th November, the Minister for Interior, Professor Kidure Kindiki, came to Garrison University to launch, uh, to launch, you know, the, 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 the tree planting day on 10th November. And uh, after the session, after the event, you know, he handed a sum of one million shilling to, to me and uh, my my colleague who was at that time former secretary of Garrison University. And uh, you know, it was just to do something with the affairs of the students. <coughs> after that, we had a misunderstanding with the university about the fund. I directly took the fund to the office of the vice chancellor. He reviews, he declined, and the vice chancellor say, openly said to me, "This matters pertaining to the student, and uh, we have to do it." You know with what the student wants. I went ahead and uh, had the money. I don't disagree that I, you know, as a student leader, I made a mistake on what the university claimed to, it was a mismanagement of funds that, that was there. Directly to us, to the, to the police subcounty commander, township subcounty commander, Mr. Ngetich, who followed, who followed the story, because the university now made the issue, the, uh, you know, the external issue. And we are ordered to record, uh, to record statements together with my colleague. And after that, you know, the subcounty commander talked with us and uh, he agreed us to, he, you know, we shared, us with our, we shared him with our plan on how we want to execute on matters pertaining uh, this issue and he ordered us to do that way. Uh, now the challenge is that uh, uh, together with Chief Security, we were escorted to, to, uh, to by Chief Security Officer and, uh, you know, Inspector uh, was the, the Inspector, of, uh, I mean, has Inspector Hassan, Chief Security Officer, they all, and the uh, one university staff when we were going there. So uh, he ordered us now to uh, go on with the story, I mean to go on with the events, just to finish it, and, this, and you know, so that uh, this, this issue cools down before it brings unrest, something like that. We go ahead and uh, we take the orders and went back to, to, to university. But uh, before we go, you know, the chief security officer, or the officer and the, you know, support, the, I mean, the inspector came to me and, uh, you know, with my colleague and they told us maybe to a chai mku and subcounty commander police. So uh, what I now uh, what I what I now I could say is that the amount that went out of our hands to, to their side is, is ninety thousand cash. That is uh, something that is lost. Uh, and now that the graduation is in the corner, I want to graduate as soon as possible. Uh, I mean, I want to graduate like any other Kenyan, and uh, you know, I want to secure my future like any other Kenyan you know, growing uh, youth uh, want to, you know, want to take part in the contrib contribution of this nation and, you know, to impact the society. Because I was, uh, all my life, you know, I was studying and I want to make my life better and those of my, those who are, who are around me. So I will not, as, as a person, I can't accept, you know, a person to be a block, you know, on my success. And the uh, graduation is only June. So now they ordered me to pay, the university ordered me to pay the 90,000, of which I didn't, as a person, I didn't use it. Is in the hands of the it is in the hands of the people I mentioned. So uh, what I wanted simply is them to fo to follow those people. Maybe they didn't follow because those people has power, and that's why personally they choose to target me. Me, whatever that was, was my side, I cleared, and uh, I directly, you know, by use of it and some elders, I I directly transfer to them, and uh, I hope that this story ends. I hope first time that this story ends, but now it is recurring, and they are asking me to you know until I bring that ninety thousand. There's no story that will go on. And uh, I can mention those people who, 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 you know, who are involved in this scandal with the 90,000. One is the subcounty admin, subcounty admin, subcounty commander, Mr. Ngetich. The DECO, I think the chief security officer, inspector, Mr. Hassan, and uh, uh, Abdi Abbas Bulale, who is also a staff in Garrison University. So I cannot, you know, allow that my life to be endangered just because, and I mean my future to be to be in question and, uh, you know, for them to act as a setback on my success and, you know, my growth as a young boy because them, they're having their jobs uh, and their life is going. They, ha they take the money and they're having their jobs and now the blame is on me on what I didn't take. I didn't take it as a person. And the graduation is only one month away. Graduation is June. So I, I decided, you know, to share this story with the general public because justice denied is justice. Justice delayed is justice denied. There are a lot of youth or maybe students who have the same challenge like this of me, but who can speak up? 
who can't uh, show their frustration and their dis disappointment as I'm showing. Because when the person is, uh, is, is in power, I think you should not misuse it. When you have a power, I think your duty is to enlighten, your duty is uh, to make others grow like, like you are, you know, like you are flourishing. So what I'm sharing with the, which I'm sharing with the public is this issue that has been disappointing and, you know, it has been a frustration to me because I want to move on and, you know, to move on with life and uh, graduate like any other Kenyan. And uh, so that, you know, I help and, you know, myself and I help those, and, and I help those around me. So I think uh, that is all that I want to share. Uh, and I would like to thank you, my, you media, thank you for hosting me.